Sources of Mauryan Empire. Archaeological sources we got punch marked coins, inscriptions that is edicts of Ashoka, Juganath inscription, and secular literature, Kautilya's Ardhasastra, Vishakadadda's Mutra Rakshasa, Mamulana's poem in Aganandure. Religious literatures like Jain, Buddhist texts, and Puranas. Foreign notices like Deepavamsa, Mahavamsa, and Indika. Megasthenes. Megasthenes was the ambassador of Greek, rule, Greek ruler Seleucus in the court of Chandragupta. He stayed in India for 14 years. His book Indica is one of the main sources for the study of Mauryan Empire. Mauryan Empire. Mauryan Empire was India's first empire. Its capital is Pataliputra, present day Patna in Bihar. The type of government is monarchy. Historical era is from 322 BC to 187 BC. Important kings of this empire are Chandragupta, Bindusara and Ashoka. The grandeur of Pataliputra, that is the great capital city in the Mauryan Empire, which had 64 gates to the city and 570 watchtowers. We will see who is Chandragupta Maurya. The Mauryan Empire was the first largest empire in India. Chandragupta Maurya established the empire in Magadha. Badrabahu, a Jain monk, took Chandragupta Maurya to the southern India. Chandragupta Maurya performed Sallekana, that is a Jain ritual in which a person fast until his death in Shravana Balagula, Karnataka. Bindusara the real name of Bindusara was Sinasena. He was the son of Chandragupta Maurya. Greeks called Bindusara as Amitragada, meaning the slayer of enemies. During Bindusara's regime, Mauryan Empire spread over a large part of India. He appointed his son Ashoka as a governor of Ujjain. After his death, Ashoka ascended the throne of Magadha. Let's see about Ashoka. As we already saw, Ashoka is the son of Bindusara. Ashoka was the most famous of the Mauryan kings. He was known as Devanambiya, meaning the beloved of gods. Here the map shows the empire of Ashoka. Ashoka fought the Kalinga war in 261 BC. He won the war and captured Kalinga. The horror of the war was described by the king himself in the rock edict 13. Let's see Ashoka's travel from Chandasoka to Dhammasoka. Chandasoka means Ashoka the wicked. Dhammasoka means Ashoka the righteous. After the battle of Kalinga, Ashoka became a Buddhist. He undertook tours that is Dharma Yatras to different parts of the country instructing people on policy of Dhamma. The meaning of Dhamma is explained in Ashoka's Pillar Edict 2. The Ashoka Pillar Edict 2 contains the noblest idea of humanism forming the essence of all religion. He laid trust on compassion, charity, purity, saint self-control, truthfulness, obedience and respect of parents, preceptors and elders. Ashoka sent his son Mahinda and Sangamitta to Sri Lanka to propagate Buddhism. He also sent missionaries to West Asia, Egypt and Eastern Europe to spread the message of Dhamma. The Dhamma Mahamatas were a new cadre of officials created by Ashoka. Their job was to spread Dhamma all over the empire. Ashoka held the third Buddhist council at his capital, Pataliputra. Let's see the edicts of Ashoka. 
An edict is a official order or pro proclamation issued by a person in authority or a king. In simple words, it's a king order. The 33 edicts on the pillars as well as boulders and cave walls made by the Emperor Ashoka. It describes in detail about Ashoka's belief in peace, righteousness, justice and his concern for the welfare of his people. The rock edicts 2 and 13 of Ashoka refer to the names of three dynasties namely Pandyas, Cholas, the Kerala Putras and the Satyaputras. Let's see about Mauryan administration. First we are going to see about centralized administration king. The king was the supreme and sovereign authority of the Mauryan Empire. Council of ministers known as Mantri Parishad assisted the king. Assembly of ministers included a Parohat, a Senadipadi, a Mahamantri and the Yuvaraja. King had an excellent spy system. Next we are going to see revenue system in Mauryan administration. The land was the most important source of revenue of the state. Ashokan inscription at Lumbini mentions Bali and Baga as taxes collected from people. The land tax Baga collected was 1 by 6 of the total producer. Revenue from taxes on forest, mines, salt and irrigation provided additional revenue to the government. Much of the state revenue was spent on paying the army, the officials of ro royal government, on charities and on different public works such as irrigation projects, road construction, etc. Next we are going to see judicial system and Mauryan administration. The king was the head, he was the highest court of appeal. The king appointed many judges subordinate to him. The punishments were harsh.